Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and Apple released macOS Sonoma 14 beta 6. This released along with the public beta and is available now to developers and public beta testers. This released alongside all of the other regular updates with iOS 17 beta 7, iPadOS 17 beta 7, watchOS 10 beta 7, and tvOS and HomePod OS 17 beta 7. Now this came in at 2.23 gigabytes. That's on a 15 inch MacBook Air, the latest M2 version. And this was a fairly small update for a Mac OS and also contains some changes and features. So let's go ahead and close this and take a look at the build number. We'll click the Apple, go to about this Mac and click on Sonoma 14. You'll see the current build number is 23A5328B. This particular update is probably a couple away from the final release. We'll talk about that a little bit later in the video. Now, as far as new features, the first thing has to do with the wallpaper. This is the standard Sonoma wallpaper. And if we go into settings and then go into our wallpaper, so we'll go down to wallpaper. You'll see, of course, we have Sonoma, but if we go to the regular Sonoma wallpaper, not the location, we have the option to show it as a screensaver now. So we can go between light and dark mode, show on all spaces, but now with the screensaver option, if we go to screensaver, you'll see we have that option here. So we now can use it as a screensaver automatically, light mode or dark mode. And what's nice about this, not only is it automatic, but if I lock the screen, it continues to animate. So let me go ahead and minimize that. I'll lock the display and you'll see it starts to animate much like all of the other ones we have. If I unlock the display, you'll see it continues to animate and then comes to a slow stop. So this is really nice, very similar to what we have with the other wallpapers. So I'll do the same with the night mode version. Let's lock that, do that one more time here. Let's lock it and you'll see it'll start to animate. So it starts to move slowly and then pick up speed. And then as I unlock, it sort of slides to a halt. Now I particularly like some of these other wallpapers that are landscapes. I'm using the Sonoma one here. I've been using this one for a little while. I think it looks great. Now other changes have to do with settings as well. If we go to our desktop and dock settings and scroll down a little bit, they've updated this with a new section. So the sections have changed in that they've separated them and rearranged them. So now you'll see show items on desktop and in stage manager. We now have those options. We also have the same sort of options within our widget settings as well. So if we scroll down here, you'll see that we have widgets where also it says show widgets on desktop. If I uncheck that my widgets disappear on the left or show it in stage manager or both, we can select whatever we'd like. So they've sort of categorized these a little bit differently this time around where they're separated where they weren't before. It's not a huge change, but just something that's made it a little bit better as far as that goes. One other thing I've noticed is that the fast switching from music and AirPods is incredibly fast. It goes from my iPad to my iPhone and then to the Mac very, very quickly. Let me show you. We go into music and then we maybe start to play a song. We'll just hit play. You'll see it connects and immediately starts playing in my ear. So now it's actually connected. I can jump ahead in the song. I'll hear that song and it plays like you would expect. If I switch and maybe go back to an iPad or maybe go to an iPhone, it will switch automatically immediately. Now, of course you can disable some of these options, but I've noticed this is much faster than it used to be. As far as any additional features and changes, well, in this update, there's not much more to talk about that's really noticeable or that stands out. Of course, we might have some splash screens if you go into podcasts and things like that, but nothing major as far as features. However, there are a bunch of things that have been resolved and there's also still some known issues, but I think this is more of a refinement update as we get closer to a final release, just like iOS 17 beta seven. If we go to Apple's public facing website with all of the latest updates and scroll down to Mac OS 14 beta six, if we go into the release notes, you'll see there's a ton of different things they've updated. They've resolved a bunch of issues. For example, they fixed the issue where users might experience a blank screen with an active cursor for an indefinite period of time when attempting to update to Sonoma beta six. They resolved this. So there was some issues updating to beta five. They've resolved it here. They've resolved some accessibility features. They of course go over the new AirPods features and then there's much, much more. So you can go through pages and pages of updates that are resolved and also known issues. Still, there are still some known issues that remain. And one thing in particular I've noticed is that the widgets that work with your iPhone don't work particularly well just yet. That's okay. We're not at a final release yet, but if you add some widgets over here on the left, sometimes they just don't work properly. 
And as far as widgets, some of them are still staying blank. So if you go to add one of these, maybe it doesn't typically update properly. It says open day one to load prompts. Even if you open it on your iPhone or open it on the Mac, sometimes it doesn't fill in. I'm seeing this with various widgets. Most of them are the ones coming from an iPhone, but for the most part, it seems to work pretty well. Now, as far as overall bugs, I really haven't experienced too many bugs so far over the past couple of days of using this. It seems to be pretty stable for what I'm using it for, and I'm not actually editing video on here or anything. I'm not using it on my main production machine yet, but in general, it seems to be performing as you would expect going into things such as Safari or just loading websites or nice and fast. You'll see we'll load Apple here. There's no issues whatsoever as far as performance for me. Some people have said they're still having some issues here and there, but for the most part, it seems to be pretty stable. For those wondering about battery, well, I noticed with beta six standby battery is quite good. And if we go down to battery here on my 15 inch MacBook, We'll go to battery health. It says normal. We're at hundred percent. This is a pretty new MacBook. I would expect that I have optimized battery charging enabled, but if we take a look at the graph over the last 10 days, I haven't used it a ton, but it's been in standby and you'll see that I haven't charged it for quite a while. Now it's plugged into a studio display. So it's charging now, but before that, if we took a, take a look at the charge curve, you'll see, I haven't charged it for a few days. So it's actually holding on pretty well. And the battery level was at about 70 to 80%. So no issues whatsoever with battery, at least this time around, it seems to be doing much, much better than it did with previous betas as we get closer to that final release. And speaking of the final release, we are expecting a couple more betas at this point, or at least a beta and release candidate. I would expect another one probably next Tuesday around the 29th. And then maybe in September, we'll have a couple more. Usually the Mac OS updates come out in late September or early October. Based on that, we don't have them launch at the same time as iOS. This changes from year to year, but based on them delaying beta six a little bit, I would expect them to push that out a little bit further. So that's fine. Maybe to launch with a separate second Mac event that they're having later this year, or they could just want to stagger those as far as the overall releases go. I would expect the Apple event though, on the 12th of September, as we've talked about, it could be earlier, but it seems likely that it will be on the 12th with a final release of iOS 17 on the 18th and the iPhone launch on the 22nd, if all of the different rumors and leaks are true. So if that's true, that's when we'll see that. If not, we could see those dates change. That's everything with Mac OS Sonoma 14 beta six. So there's not much more to talk about, but if you've found anything, let me know in the comments below, if I haven't mentioned it there. And of course, if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like as always. Thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.